Hey, this is Mike and you're watching Real Black. Today we're at the Silver Docks Film Festival in Silver Spring, Maryland with Alex Hammond and Ian Markowitz of the brand new movie, Better Than Something, Jay Retard. Just thought no one could stand me. What the day, A lot of our viewers probably aren't aware of Jay Retard. Can you just tell us a little bit about his history? Jay is interesting because he, he was like, 14, 15, and he had a bunch of sort of, you know, like flea market and, and, and tag sale recording gear and, and records that he had had from his mom, and, and, you know, it was just sort of like, he was this loner kid in a, in a room alone, I mean, I mean really, just, just completely on his own, recording music, and some people got excited about it in Memphis, and he just started recording, and he actually dropped out of school by, what, 16? By eighth grade, he By dropped out of school so and 14. just dedicated himself to music. And, and literally was on tour. He paid for his own tour, his first tour in Europe, by like 17, and recorded, what is it, like it's about 100 different releases, just like records and 7 inches and 12 inches and singles online and, and so many different things, tapes. and I mean, the guy went crazy, and, and uh, by 29 he had... I mean, I mean, he had put out more than songs. more than most people. But he was definitely an underground musician. But he had a following, incredible following, all over the world. I mean, and he since, was notorious. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> and, he was, and he was a crazy performer. Yeah. I mean, if you see, I mean, he was wild. like, he was one of the most. He, they, some people think he was the last punk rocker. I don't think because, that. I don't like I don't that. Know, at I don't all. like I don't to say like, that. Yeah. But the truth is, he but. was a, a, an incredible performer. You know, he put on a show, and if you were at his, one of his shows, you were gonna get a show. You know, and that's that's yeah. rare these days. I think. I should ask you this: Where were you when you learned of Jay Richard's passing? Well, um, I was in actually in Colombia in Cartagena uh, at a music festival. And I got an email from Jay's manager and the last label he was on, Matador Records, telling us that, you know, they had just heard the news and um, they wanted Ian and I to know that he passed. And uh, it was a real shock because I was reading it from my cell phone and it was beyond devastating. Yeah, we, you know, it was, we, we weren't uh, together at the time. I was in New York and uh, we got kind of bombarded by like emails and people suddenly asking us about it, which was weird because, you know, it was really sudden. And uh, I actually, to be quite honest, I think I was really hung over that day. So it was just one of those things where I was like in a miserable mood. And then, uh, you know, those are those things that hit you really bad. And so ha having made the short film about Jay, did you immediately feel like an obligation to expand on that? Or how did this new movie come about? I don't think... It wasn't immediate for sure. No, I mean, it took us a few months. Yeah, it, definitely it, it was, again, we, we had spent, you know a week with Jay, a really intense week with him, and kept in touch with him over the year, you know, I guess a few months. And th his death was a complete shock. Like, we never expected this to happen. So, again, we waited until um, until friends and family started writing and saying, oh, my God, the short is, is great. Well, and also, we, we found out um, that at South by Southwest there was going to be a tribute show, and the, a lot of his friends were going to be there, a lot of bands that he'd been associated with were going to play, and we... You know, we'd been saying, wow, we should just make the short longer. We should just add some of the scenes. Because we'd always talked with Jay about it. we had gotten so much. And, and he knew we'd gotten so much. But there wasn't a need to have put that in the short. Because the short was a promotional piece. So when we heard the f friends were getting together and it was going to be an event, we were like, well, you know, let's, let's try and, and include them in on it and see what they think and how they feel about it. And, and you know, it just kind of rolled from there when everybody got involved. And I don't think we intended it to be... A feature, like a, a full-length film, necessarily, but but we just started shooting from that from that moment on, from yeah. the South by South tribute show, and then we drove to. And his family to wanted to talk to us, yeah. and you know his parents and, and other other people that that were friends in Memphis, and it just yeah. kept Give rolling more along. Give story and everything, but it, we just went back and shot with his mom, dad, his closest friends, and then we started putting it together. I know a place. Where we can go. I'm convinced that at this point in my life that if I wouldn't have found music, I'm sure I would have been a petty criminal. That's where I recorded my first record ever. I couldn't go to school. It wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna do me any good. I was completely incapable of learning in that environment. The thing with Jay is I to us, I mean, we fell in love with who he was, and his character and his story is, is universal. I mean, he really came from nothing and, and was and able true to... true poverty. Like, he came from the middle of America, like, the, the, the poorest of the poor, and he struggled 
I mean, I mean, his family was was not, uh, you know, well off by any means, and and his everything he did was something he put together. So so mm-hmm. it, it's kind of an interesting story of like how somebody can come out of out of like the the, the bottom in a, in a way, you know, and and and. Mm-hmm. It, and music saved him. And well, yeah, music saved him, but a lot of things saved him. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it, it's it's hard to, to sum up because Jay Jay was Jay was complex because he never he never like became a rock star. He never became rich. He never became famous in that way. But he was comfortable and happy with where he had gotten to, you know. And 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 it, in his mind, it was like I've I've achieved something, knowing what I've come from. I've really achieved something. And I think that that's something a lot of people could I I, I think anyway could relate to because he didn't become a millionaire. He just he just took care of himself. Wow, you know, that not only sounds like punk rock, but it sounds like hip-hop. You know, I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to seeing the film. Where can other people track, track this movie down? Do you have Facebook? Or? Yeah, yeah, we do. We have a Facebook, Better Than Something, um, on Facebook, and also a website, www.betterthansomething.com. Uh, it's a tragedy. You died too young. Yeah. What I do is not about being comfortable with the world. I was tossed into this place and I'll be tossed out. All the stuff in between, it's a big fucking fight. Hi, I'm Alexandria Hammond. And I'm Ian Markowitz. And And you're you're watching watching Real Real Black. Black.